Hello everyone, this is Catherine from Catherine's Granny Squares. Welcome to my channel. If you are a new subscriber, welcome aboard. If you haven't subscribed and you like what you see, let me know. Press that subscribe button, it doesn't cost anything. So today I want to just show you how far I've got with everything. But first of all, I want to say I've started a mood blanket. I have never done a mood or temperature blanket. I've been tempted, but this year I thought, go for it. So I'm doing a mood blanket, a little bit unconventionally because I'm not doing sad moods. I'm just going to go for happy. I'm going to find something every day that I feel is a happy thought or, or mood. And I'm going to do a colour that I think donates that. So if we have a family get together, etc., I'm going to have a colour for that. And, you know, there's lots of things going on that I can find happy thoughts of every day. Like if I'm looking after the grandchildren, see the grandchildren, that type of thing. So it's going to be for a double bed, but I do think I'm going to need to add a border at the end so that I do get the width. I was inspired by Krista the Secret Yarnery and also K&K &K Crochet. And I'm doing Krista's moss stitch pattern for January. I'm not sure whether I'm going to change into another onto another stitch for February and so on. I'm not I'm not sure yet. What I really like about these blankets, temperature mood blankets, they're really unique, especially the mood blankets to you, aren't they? So that's what I'm doing at the moment. So hopefully I, I don't know how many months even I'm going to do it for. And that's another thing that um, I'll just have to see how I go. So I've just well, just finished the pink because that was that one is for one of the grandchildren's colours. So I, we looked after them yesterday. So yellow and pink. That's what their their colours are. The other thing is on my um, hello where I shared opening my Christmas treat order. I mentioned I was going to make a top. Now I've got one panel complete. I'm happy with the way the colours have blended. It looks like this because it's the bat sleeve. I'm not 100% sure whether I'm going to enjoy wearing the bat sleeve, but I've made it as per the pattern and we'll see how it goes. You do ribbon so it's not going to just be this length you put ribbon on the bottom so you do the second panel exactly the same and then you join them haven't got very far with the second panel but i am getting there i've got so many projects on the go i've got to share you know myself among them all i'm also doing a cardigan for my niece she wanted it in cream, so the pattern is actually, the, the pattern for the top is from a magazine, which I will mention in the description box. And this pattern, again, I'll put the, um, put the details in the description box. It's actually called the Crimson Cardigan, but obviously you can do whichever colour you want. And this is the cream that my niece wanted, so I'm... I've got a few more rows of the body to do before the ribbon. So, and then obviously it'll be the sleeves and the button band. So I'm enjoying making those two garments. I haven't really done much in the way of wearables in the past, but for some reason I seem to be going more to um, trying them out. And the temperature blanket, so really, I mean, I think about it, The I keep saying temperature blanket, the mood blanket, and when I talk about this, you know, to my husband, I'll say temperature blanket, mood blanket, the mood blanket I've never done before, and wearables, so I, I seem to be expanding, which is good, but the other thing you all know about the virus shawls, I'm really, really, really into virus shawls, but I wanted to make a shawl that wasn't a virus shawl, so let me just lean across, I've got this great book pop that down a minute i'll show you that in a minute 
I got it off um, Amazon, crochet in a weekend, and it's brilliant. It's, and it's going to be the mirror image because it always comes up mirror image on the camera, uh, on the phone. So I'm making a shawl from here. There she is, sporting it there. And I'm using up because I want to use my stash because that's another one of my aims. And I only want to treat myself or get yarn if I need to get more. And I think that could be the case. I started it off in this yarn, it's um, Starcraft Dream Catcher. And I'm enjoying using this yarn and the colour changes. It got a bit, rav you know, ravelled up and I had to do a lot of unravelling. So I have got more, but I've made lots of little balls. It's been stuck in my stash and it really was asking to be used. So I might have to get, well, I think I will have to get another ball of that if I can still get it. If not, I shall find something else from my stash that goes with it. So I'm quite happy with that. I just wanted a shawl that I could pick up when I'm watching the television of an evening. I mean, I've got loads of virus shawls on the go, which need attention, but I wanted to do something a little bit different. So you can see where I'm going with this. Mood blanket, not done that before. Wearables, going along the line of where, trying wearables. Different shawl. And doesn't mean that I'm not wanting to do my um, shawls that I really like, like the virus shawl. And I like the butterfly prayer shawl. I like shawls like that. I've got a video showing you how to make the butterfly prayer shawl and the virus shawl on the channel. Obviously, the butterfly prayer shawl is by somebody else. The virus shawl, I don't know where the original pattern is for that. I mean, there's lots and lots and lots of variations of it. So I've done the videos as I do it using, you know, the, the um, different patterns and how I found it myself, um, to, how I found, uh, what am I trying to say? I'm trying to say how I make the shawls myself by my experience of looking at lots of different patterns and how the way I show you on the videos is the way that I do the shawls now. I just found some patterns I couldn't understand. Other ones were a little bit, bit hickledy pickledy for me. So I just worked out my own way. But who's made the original pattern? I don't know. I've never, ever seen an original pattern. I've always seen adapted patterns of the shawl. So that would be interesting. Um, I think it's a bit like the granny square. Who invented the granny square? So that's all I have to say today. Um, the poncho, I'm still practicing. I must just add that in with my stash yarn. I thought, well, shall I show that today? But I'm still at the practicing stage. I just want to do a basic yoke, if you like, with um, double crochet. Um, US treble UK terminology so that's how I've got that grey one that's um, trebles at the top and then I want to do a different type of uh, the rest of the body maybe in a virus pattern maybe something completely different I don't want to do granny stitch again because that's the grey what the grey pattern is on the grey shawl that I show uh, sorry, poncho that I showed. So I'd like to do something a bit different. So I I keep getting it out and experimenting, taking it out, trying again until I find something. I can see myself probably doing my own design on that. But again, I'm searching. But because I'm using chunky yarn, I'm finding a job to find a, a pattern for a poncho. And I think that's probably because of the weight. So... It could be a bit of trial and error, but I do want to use that yarn. It's in that um, nice bag up there that the Wool Warehouse um, send their yarn, if, if you wish. I, I say if you wish, because you don't have to have them in those bags. 
and that is the yarn I'm going to use the James C. Brent one that I showed in my opening of that birthday treat and that I'm determined to use that yarn because I bought that for that project and I've, I don't want to divert and use something else because that was my birthday treat and that's what I want to make with it so yeah that's the way that is my line of thought on that so that's all I've got to say today that's probably enough waffling anyway and I hope you're all well especially in this weather it's not the greatest of um, weather at the moment especially here very damp frosty cold weather so I hope you're all keeping warm if you're in um, like that sort of climate like we've got here at the moment and I will see you all soon with another video on making something or another hello and letting you know how I've got on. So I'll say bye for now. Take care, everyone. Bye.